What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Recording up as well. So we have this recording. Okay, that makes more sense. Like, wait a minute, what the heck just happened? All right, okay. That's a little bit better. Messed me up for a second there. <coughs> like we are good and ready to go <clears throat> all right so i'm not sure who's at home this week i am at home so we're at my stadium which i believe is no weather change if i remember correctly he is online so let's just check his team real quick i uh, don't need to look at his enhancements he's got a 13 man roster no coach no cheerleader three re-rolls one apo and nine fan factor he is running a troll with guard stand firm he is running a one thrower build. Thrower has block, tackle, fend, kickoff, return. Uh, four bobs. You got a block. You got a block guard, a block mighty blow dodge, a block guard strength five. So a strength uh, boosted uh, bob. Four blitzers. We have guard tackle dodge. We have guard tackle Move boosted, mighty blow, piling on. So that's his his hard hitting blitzer, most likely, uh, the one that splits in most turns, especially with the move seven. We have a dodge guard sidestep tackle, and we have a mighty blow tackle piling on guard move broke. Is he just move broke? Is that it? Yes, just move broke. So lots of tackle. Uh, lineman with block tackle, lineman with dirty player, lineman with dirty player and wrestle. One, two, three, four, five tackle to six tackle with the thrower to deal with my skinks. So this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass on this matchup. A lot of tackle and some good guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guard. He's got the other strength five piece to match mine. Um, so he, he can definitely match me, almost match me strength for strength. Not quite. I still got him out strength a little bit, but he does have more guard than I do, so that's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Thank you, Rama. How are you doing tonight, man? Hopefully good. Um, and I should have the weather enhancement. I do, so no weather changes. I have a full roster. That's good. Uh, one more fan factor than him, and also one cheerleader and one coach more than him. A rookie Saurus, uh, one, two, three. So I only got three guard to his, what, six or seven, I think I said. So this is definitely going to be a tough one. Um, definitely going to be a tough one. Let's see how this goes. Oh, he cut a little bit. How did he cut? Because he was at 2,100 a second ago. How'd he cut? Oh, he cut 10K off his total. He was at 160. Doesn't really matter. He's still giving me 50K. Um, let's see if he's in here. Oh, Champs in tier one. There we go. Um... See if he sees it. Don't know if he'll see it or not, but we'll see. Maybe he'll see it because I don't think he's on Discord. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. 
I don't have a good feeling about this uh, this game. After the uh, crazy game I had with the Goblins last night, I have a feeling the dice are going to um, come back on me in this one. I, mean, I didn't have super great dice last night in that game, but my opponent had really bad dice in the first half. His dice got much better in the second. But I could definitely see this being one of those games where uh, a lot of stuff goes wrong. <clears throat> and especially if he's able to get a couple quick takeoffs on my uh, big boys. If he's able to get a couple Saurus, two or three Saurus off, this could be a, a long and hard match. But we shall see. That's why you play the games, right? That's why you play the games. Question is... If I win the toss, do I want to kick first so I can leave my big boy off the pitch for the first drive, first half? And then try to get the one-turner on turn eight. <clears throat> I think that's what I try to do. I don't know. We'll see. It's a, it's a valid strategy keep him off that way I know for sure I've got him on the pitch for the one turn chance then I just have to surprise uh, survive um, did he buy it? no he didn't buy any okay we're gonna spend our 50k on a bra or a babe I mean right it, it ensures I got my my edge my one turner and my edge piece on the pitch for turn eight for the one turner and for the whole second half <coughs> It means I need to need to try to save a reroll for that one turn chance, though. And if he wins the toss, hopefully he'll choose to receive. He wins the toss. <laughs> oh, we've evidently played before. I don't remember playing him before. Must have been last season in, in Tier 1. I certainly don't remember playing this work team before. As built up as it is. But it might not have been that built up, obviously, the last time we played. Hmm. I wonder if he froze. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I wonder if he froze up. Ah, he chose defense. Dang it. I did not want to receive first. I really, really wanted to kick first. Wow, he wrote a 10 for fans, so that means he's going to get fame. Yep, because I wrote a 6. Doubtful I was going to match the 10. Hmm. Man, that hurts. I was hoping to get fame as well. Well, that's all right. It negates my uh, cheerleader and my coach, but it just means we're on an even playing field with the uh, re-rolls. It hurts me, though, on the uh, pitch invasion and throw a rock and all that kind of stuff. But We shall see. All right, so he's got one of his tackles there. Guard stand firm and the dirty player. Okay, so let's put him here. <clears throat> um what we got we got that one there he's not pile on he is so both his pile ons are off to the side I really want to hit him but he sidestep so if I don't take him down he sidesteps here and then I'm screwed so I'm going to have to hit him. So I do have my pile on here. Let's put him here. Put him here. 
Actually, no, let's put him there. Oh, they're both at 70? Nice. Let's put him out here then. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. 1-1 one, one tie last season? Ah, I got you. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that. Must have been a forgettable game. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens here. Nice. I get the extra reroll. That's good. We will take that. He rolled a 1. I rolled a 2. Wow. All right. Well, this has been a very glorious start. There we go with the takedown finally. One, two, three, four to hit. Hey, there we go. At least we got a yellow on one of the pieces that really mattered. No break, though. Ah, uh, I put the wrong guy over there. I put the move five over there. Should have put the move six. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's bad, because now i got to make it go for it. Hmm. Definitely messed that up, didn't I? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Definitely messed that up. Figures. That's what I get. That is what I get. Without a doubt. Uh, make a bad play and you get burned for it. Uh, I have a babe. That's it. Nothing else. Make a bad play and get burned. He's moves five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could get... down one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Could come foul him, but that's not really worth it. Not the start that I was hoping for, that is for sure.
I almost failed the pickup. <laughs> Not the start I was hoping for. Of course, it all started with me failing to uh, get to play defense first, which is what I wanted. Oh, man, that stinks. Let's hope his, uh, his first turn is as inglorious as mine was. <laughs> He gets a yellow on his very first hit. Took me, what, three or four hits before I got my first yellow? He probably breaks on his first hit, too, I bet. Nope. Well, that's good. I fully expected him to break there. Interesting to go for the blitz there. Scared of that uh, move eight, I guess. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I have a babe. Yep, that's it. He gave me 50k. And I took the babe on it. Ooh, I like that. If I can get this guy down, then I can blitz him with the piling on. If I can get that troll down. Well, and if the troll doesn't take him down. Forgot about that. Be nice if the troll rolled turnover dice, then I wouldn't even have to worry about it. Hmm. Wonder why he's just Well. Guess he's just trying to keep everything blocked up. Not too worried about that. Come on, troll. Turnover. <laughs> nope. Well that saves me from saves him from getting his piling on piece hit. That saves him from getting his piling on piece hit. That sucks. Hmm, who do I want to hit here? Let's stand him up.
All right, come on, Crocs. Give me a yellow this time. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Croxy. Oh, and a... Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. We'll take it, though. That's a big takeoff right there. Nice job, Crocs. I'm proud of you, buddy. Get guard in there. No guard there. No. Could come in here. Nah. Four, five. He'll put a guy in there. Puts off over there. No tackle, no tackle. Um, one, two, three. Hmm. Let's get guard next to each other here. <clears throat> Make it a little harder for him to do anything on either one of those guys. Make him have to use some guys at least to do it. <coughs> so that was a big, huge takeoff there. That puts uh, definitely puts strength advantage back to my favor. He still got guard on me, though, so that helps even it out just a little bit for him. But I think I still got him just a little bit. I think I got the edge on the strength guard battle. At this point, anyway. Yeah, you need to get at least one or two. I always like to get my Crocs break tackle as well. If he can get block and then get him break tackle, that makes the Crocs really good. So no tackle here. He's going to have to get a pow to take me down. And it's just a one die with him. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely is. So there's where he's going to do the blitz. That's fine. He does get the yellow. Just don't break and I'll be okay. Okay, that's fine. Just want to get a shot at one of these two mighty blow pieces. Well, if you're talking about the one he just did, Rama, he's, I mean, it's a chance to get an armor break on my big piling on piece, right? On one of my big killers and my piling on piece, so definitely nothing wrong with doing that block, but he's just trying to pick a guy off right at this point, right? And he's picking on the guy that's the the most likely to be um, uh, do damage to him back. I shouldn't say most likely, but definitely one of the ones that are, are likely to do damage back. <laughs> One die, nothing. We'll take it. You're just staying right there, buddy. Interesting if he dodges out there. Not sure why he would. It would give me a two die hit on this guy with no dodge. On the bob with no dodge, which would be nice. I would take that. If he stays there, then I get the two die hit on the wrestle guy. Oh, wow, I really would be okay with that. Yes, please, do that. Because that gives me a free Mighty Blow hit. I would absolutely be okay with that. He makes the dodge. 
Come on down, buddy. Come on down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> we'll take that all day long. Now the question is, do I follow and pile on? I do not pile on since I didn't break, but I absolutely do follow. Um, really wanted to be able to put that guard up there, but I had to move him. So that means that I come here, but if I do, he stands him up and he gets two dice with him and follows in. If I come here, five, four, he'd get two dice and could follow in. If I just come here, actually, let's wait on that. Because I'm going to do this first. He's not. Oh, he is dodged. Damn it. If I do that one die there. And he sidestep too. So I don't want to do the hit there. Let's do this hit first. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and keep uh, pushing him towards that sideline. We'll keep both of these guys locked up with my strength six. So what I'm thinking is if I move a guy up to here, I do the two die there and push him in there. him up to here. He's not tackle. So if I bring him up to here, I bring him in, then that means he's 5, 4, 3, plus guard is 4. So he'd be a 1 die at best there with him. Put a skink in harm's way here, but he's block, and that guy does not have tackle, so I'm okay with that. Then we can do this hit here. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops, that's one die. I don't want that. Actually move him in there. That gives me my two die here. Perfect. And then I'll stay pat to keep him marked. Oh, that's a nice break. Stun, Stun's nice, but it would have been nicer if it had been a KO or a cross. But I will take the stun for sure. We'll absolutely take the stun. He does not have any break tackle, right? Be on the bob. No, I didn't think he did. No. Okay, so go ahead and bring this guy into here. For now, you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll bring this guy to here. One, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <coughs> we'll take that. <coughs> that was a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. I'm not bad. I'm not not upset with that turn. I think he does, Rama. That's what I'm. That's what I'm accounting for. That's why I left him here. I think that's what he's gonna do. That's probably what I would do. I need one more square to be able to score in one turn with my ball carrier right now. <clears throat> the good news is, he that's what I was just going to say. He's got to bring this guard around here to get the guard on these guys. Which means that he's not going to be hitting my pylon piece most likely. <clears throat> Yep, he definitely isn't. Well, he can push. The push should get it for him. Yep. Now he can blitz this way. With him. So he can get a pile on hit on him. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Ah, and he gets the yellow. Damn it. No break. Nah. Well, he didn't follow, so I don't have to worry about the pylon. That's good. At least he didn't follow. I am okay with that. And he did not blitz hunt with the uh, piece over here. So that's good. All this work he's trying to do just to get a one die hit on my <laughs> strength six guy. I love it. I love it. Nice. He's got to use a reroll here. That's good. We'll take it. All so he can try to get a one die hit on that guy. <laughs> <coughs> you got to love it. Absolutely got to love it. I certainly love it. <clears throat> More dodging coming. Nope. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and move this guy first. Get him pinned on that sideline. We'll go ahead and hit here. We'll go ahead and hit here. I gotta get a pow on this one. That's fine. We'll just push him right back out, which is where I want him. <coughs> so now <coughs> unfortunately I'm gonna be blitzing with my crocs right here. And this could be nasty. But if I come in here and blitz that way. That would at least hit him. And if I can knock him down, then I can get a hit. Oh, that's a one die there. <coughs> or I could come in and blitz him, push him off, and just stay. And that would allow me to push. No, because then if I hit him and push him there, that puts another guard on him. No, I don't want to do it that way. Don't want to do it that way. If I blitz here, hit here, I'd have to be able to take him down. 
I don't get the yellow to take him down, I'm screwed. Let's do that. Let's do this and see what happens. I gotta get this tackle off this uh, skink if I can. Ah, oh, come on, bonehead! Really? That was the worst possible time for that. How did I know it was gonna happen? Hmm. I gotta take my chances on it. Ah, fucking one-two! Unbelievable. Well, that screwed me. That really screwed me right there. <coughs> Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh man. Nasty, nasty. So that's a one die, yep. I shouldn't have wasted my reroll there. That was a stupid reroll waste. Stupid reroll waste. Because now I don't have the reroll for the one die, which is what I'm going to need. Might as well take a chance here, see if I get a pal. Oh, I do. Nice. <coughs> we'll take it. Probably moves here. Maybe I get lucky and get a break. Oh, he didn't move there. I'm following. I was following anyway because I wanted to mark this guy up. Um... So, he's not dodged, so we might as well try it and see. Yep. That's why I should have saved my reroll. I could see that happening a mile away once I lonered, or once I uh, boneheaded. <coughs> ah, man, that bonehead was just terrible. Absolute worst time for it. <coughs> Absolute worst. Yep. Um, let's come back here. Hope he doesn't break. Does he pile on? Yep. All right, so I got to find a way to pro potentially foul him. Good, he didn't take me off. That's nice. <coughs> he had to pile on once he followed up, because if he didn't, he leaves himself marked on the uh, Crocs. That's nice. That frees up my pylon piece if he moves him. It does finally give him two dice on this guy, though. Well, two dice with the bobs, only one with the tackler. He'd love to try to get two dice with the tackler. Hmm, interesting choice to go that way. Nice, no takedown. I like that. Does he re-roll it? He's thinking about re-rolling that. <coughs> um, he's guard anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and make him either follow or keep his guard there. He probably follows. Nope. So that means the croc stays marked on him. <coughs> it does give him two dice there, though. I need him to not get a pal. Nice. Yep, we'll use dodge. Now he's still stuck. He can get in with guard here, though. <coughs> yep. At least gives him the one die there. Can he get a one die skull to match mine? Nope, he gets the yellow. Exactly what he needed. Of course that's what he gets. Absolutely. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I can. I was hoping he would. Mar That's what I was hoping he would do. Actually, right there. No matter where he moves him, he's gonna get marked by this guy. <coughs> he just makes it easy for me to stay there. Well, mine's just trying to stall out as much as I can and keep him from getting hits. Right. 
he's almost to a point where he has to try to be aggressive to try to get hits, which is what he's doing. <clears throat> Really getting aggressive there. Well, not too bad. He's got dodge. And he's got uh, tackle as well, if he could put tackle on that guy. But I'm ab absolutely okay with all of that, actually. Stand him up. Um, I kind of want to, kind of want to get a piling on hit on him, actually. <coughs> yeah, actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do that first. Nice. See if I can break him. If I can break him, then I might pile on. Ah, nope. So he would go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's only edge two. Oh, I forgot he's only edge two. Shit. <coughs> Eesh. That's nasty. How many rerolls I got? Two. Oh, that's tackle there, not tackle there. Okay. So we know bam, 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 bam. Oh, wait a minute. I can still move this guy. Uh. We'll do that at the very end, actually. No, I don't want to go through the tackle. I almost did that again, didn't I? Actually, let's do one at a time. <coughs> I always preach do one at a time, and that right there is why. Want to be one more out because if he blitzes there. This is the big dodge right here. Um, do I wanna, yeah, I have to go that way. Now, of course, I failed the first one. Shoo! At least I made the second one. Goodness, scaring the shit out of me there, man. Well, hopefully that one doesn't come back to haunt me here. <laughs> That's what I get for opening my fucking mouth. <laughs> ah, Jesus. No, absolutely not. Because he's uh, because he's sneaky getting sidestep, I'll still take advantage of it. Normally, I'm not going to have to dodge out to... <clears throat> to potentially foul, but this time I am. He's tackle two. Or I go this route. Do two dodges. And get up to there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I failed the dodge anyway, and I won't re-roll it. Nope. So I've just gave him a hit on my guy with his piling on piece. <clears throat> I should have tried moving the crocs first, but I didn't want to fail the go for it and turn over. Now I've gave him a perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity, unfortunately. My crocs is letting me down big time this game right now. He got that KO early. That was a good play. But these last two turns have really killed me with the boneheads. Really, really killed me. Plus, the other reason why I didn't fire the skink is because I'm out of money. I didn't have enough money to replace them all because I had to replace that one match. I lost my Crocs, a Saurus, and I had the one skink. Um, which skink is it? This skink here. Nope, not that skink there. Oh, well, that's nice. Can we get a double fail here? Oh, that's nice. Well, that's a good turnaround for me. The one skink, this one here. This guy here took the um, the armor break. And I was going to... I had to replace the, the Crocs. <clears throat> and uh, Actually, I didn't lose a Saurus. Sorry. I just lost the Crocs, and this, and this guy took an armor break. I lost the Saurus uh, two matches before. And I replaced him with this guy. So that took 80k out. And then that match, I had j enough to buy the Crocs back, but I only had 50k, so I couldn't replace him. And he was missed next game. So that's why the other reason why I kept the edge piece at this point, right? Because I just needed live players on the pitch that weren't loners. <clears throat> um, so... What I want to do here. Figure out how I can get. Oh, he's got one two guard. Oof, that's nasty. Let's do this hit first. We'll keep him marked. Uh oh. Ooh. That was almost a scary one for him. Oh, actually, before I do anything else. <coughs> Let's get out of the posi out of the way so he can't hit me with anybody. He can't get to me. He can't. No way any of these guys get to me. No. <coughs> All right. Actually. Hey, the Crocs moved. What do you know? He can move. If I come here, so that would be four, five, four, three. That'd make it a one die. Guard here, though, so I could come in and hit him. Could go one, two. If I push him there, he could get out. Damn it, that didn't work like I was hoping. I was wanting to be able to move him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push him out and follow. And then I can get the two dice there. And if he goes there, then that means I want him to go here. And he'd have to dodge into tackle zones. And 
That way he can still hit him and he keeps him marked. That way he's still marked. <coughs> Move eight source, fuck the world, baby. Oh, come on. I just need a push. I gotta re roll it. Need a push. There we go. Ugh. So, four, five. Four. Yeah, so I gotta follow here. Let's get him out of the way so he doesn't get hit. <coughs> He's not guard. Neither is he. Let's move in. Yeah, let's follow. Oh, there we go. First injury of the game. A badly hurt. We'll take it. That's the wrestle dirty player. Yeah. So one of his two dirty players and the wrestle guy is gone. And that's a casualty for Sprite. Sprite's been on fire, man. Last game and this game. Last game he had two or three casualties, I think. And now this game, the first casualty in this one. He has been on fire. Sprite. So I still got a reroll. He still has a reroll. Oh, wow. He's going the exact, complete opposite direction what I thought he would do. Huh. I'm guessing so he can dodge him out to come down. That's what I expected him to do. Oh, that's the move broke one. Nice. <coughs> oh, he's going to try to do a straight up dodge with no dodge skill. Makes it. Nice, no takedown. I doubt he re rolls it. We'll make him follow if he wants to uh, keep me marked. You're going to come here, I guess. Now I freeze the way up for him to dodge out, though. Yep. Nice. Double fail on the dodge. Oh! Oh, man, if he would have crossed himself, that would have been huge. That would have been very huge if he would have crossed himself right there. Holy cow. That would have been craziness. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get down to the him. <coughs> could potentially allow me the chance to stall out here. Um, God, I love move eight on a source. It's so ridiculous. It's the best he could do would be to mark me there. Take two go for it's for me to get over there. I 
This is the scary hit right here. That's why. Oh, my God. Come on. Don't do this to me. Shoo. Thank you. Dear God. Oh, dear God. That was scary. All right, so he can't get to me. He can't get to me. He can if he gets through there somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I've got sure feet, so let's just hope to God I don't double one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can still get to me, so i got to make one more. Whew. Now we can... Oops. No, I do not want to do that. Holy cow. Now we can do this. And if I double skull, I'm still okay. I don't double skull, but... Push him out to here. Uh, I want to do this hit, but if I do and I don't take him down, then he is a couple of dodges away from getting to me. Nah, we're going to do it anyway. I get the yellow. Because even if I wouldn't have taken him down, if I got the push, he's diving out of diving tackle into another tackle zone. So, oh, I'm glad I did that hit. Cross him. Oh, the cross would have been so nice right there. Oh, that would have been a huge, huge cross if that would have worked. Wow. That was monstrous. Or could have been monstrous. Let me rephrase that. But like I was saying, even if I get the push... I've got diving. That's the only reason I do it is because i got diving tackle on him. He's dodging into a tackle zone with diving tackle. So that's a 4 plus plus the diving tackle on him. So, yeah. Oh, he gets the pal. He had to get the pal, and he gets the pal. Uh-uh-uh. Let's hope he doesn't break. He does have mighty blow, though, so um, chances are he's going to break. Oh, wow, he didn't. Holy cow, he rolled a 4. Nice. Well, we'll take it. Absolutely. Yeah, he he has to do that because I will take the chance of surfing him if he doesn't. <laughs> I would absolutely take the chance of surfing him right there. And he gets the yellow anyway. Lucky dog. Lucky dog. Oh, wow, his dodging has not been very good. His dodging has not been very good at all. Yeah, I had sure feet. He's got sure feet on him. Sprint and sure feet. That's why I don't mind doing them. If I had failed the first sure feet, though, or, or first go for it and had to use sure feet, I wouldn't have done the second one. Absolutely. <laughs> Makes a little more sense to you now, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, um, six, seven, eight. I need one more to get three dice on him. Four, five. Even though I don't have a reroll, I don't mind doing it with three dice, and I can get three dice on the other guy this way. And I want to get this pile on hit on. If I can get a chance to pile on on his killer, one of his two killers. There we go. 
Come on, baby, break him. Break him. No, you're supposed to break him. Come on, Pylon. Do a job, baby. Do a job, Mellow Yellow. Ah, oh, damn it. So close. Uh, nothing there. And, yeah, nothing there. So we just score at this point. Four kickstart to take the one nothing lead. And I get my skink back. That's good. So I'll have a full 11 on the pitch for the next half. <clears throat> oh, no. Let me rephrase that. For turn eight, <laughs> he gets his back. Oh, I had a babe, too, though. I didn't need the babe. Neither did he. Um, but how do we want to do this? We'll put our rookie Crocs up there. We don't care about him. We'll put our rookie Saurus up here. We don't care about him. We, uh, we do care about him, but... Um, and we'll put the old edge-busted sneaky git up there. Let him get hit on a little bit. All right, good enough. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So what we have to hope here, guys, we have to hope that I can have my full roster of 12 for the start of the second half. That way I can put the uh, super skink on the bench and he'll be able to potentially one turn on turn 16. That is what we have to hope for. So no injuries or KOs here. Um, I don't believe so, Rama. Name doesn't sound familiar anyway. So let's hope for no takeoffs. There's a break there with Pylon. I'm sure he will pile on. No break there, but here comes the Pylon. Yep. Breaks there. Oh, and he gets the cross. Damn it. Well, so much for what I was hoping for. So much for what I was hoping for. Now the edge piece has to be on the pitch, unfortunately. Greed is always strong with me. <laughs> Come on, you guys that have been watching me long enough should know that. The greed is a beast with me. 
<clears throat> well, at least I don't have to deal with another uh, pylon hit. That's good. I will have to deal with potentially two mighty blow hits, though, if the first one doesn't hit. First one does hit with both down. Oh, and he KOs me. Shit. I got to hope my KO row comes back now. And I'm going to get fouled, too, so... Oh, he's got his foul. No. Where's his fowler at? Oh, he's back here hiding. There he is. Okay. I was going to say, I knew he had another fowler. Come on, ref. Catch him. Catch him, ref. Oh, bail this catch. Pass and catch. Turn over. That'd be nice. Oh, he's got a reroll. Makes the pass. Makes the catch. So he gets the vanity point, and I'm going to take the foul. Come on, ref, catch him. Four plus, oh my god. <laughs> oh, poor Croxy. Ah, oh, just a stun. Okay. Too bad he didn't get caught. That would have been nice. Alright, now, come on, KO row. I just need a three plus. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. I went from potentially having a a great chance in the second half to now I'm going to be in trouble because now I'm down two players and I got to put my skink up there. I rolled a two. I needed a three. Ugh. That babe done me no good. <laughs> oh, man. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Now that also means I got to put more players on the line for him. Plus move, plus two strength mummy with block tackle and break tackle. Did he really? I didn't even see the roll. He rolled a three on the foul. Wow. He needed a four. He rolled the three, and the dirty player got him there. Jeez. Which is good he had to use it, because if he wouldn't have had to use it, he would have got the KO on the Crocs. The dirty player would have went for the KO. Yeah, that could have been really nasty. All right, so, fuck, who do I put up here now? Jesus. Uh, oh, man, this is sick. Because he's got, yeah, he can get so much guard to get the hit on him with tackle. And mighty blow piling on. Ugh. Oh, and he's, oh, shit, he's armor eight. That sucks. Well, Rookie Skink is just going to have to bite it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, yeah. So he could get to me with his move seven guy if he wanted to. He'd be a go for it, though. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. So I'm already down a player, and I'm down a strength player. He's got all his strength back. The only thing he's down is the dirty player wrestle. The biggest thing I have to do this half, I'm most likely not going to stop him from scoring unless some crazy stuff happens. So the biggest thing I got to do is keep him on the pitch or keep him alive and keep one other skink on the pitch <coughs> or alive. So that I can one turn back on turn 16. So all I gotta do is push him one time for a one turn. And save a reroll for the one turn chance.
Blitz would be cool. Well, the kickoff's nice. At least make him go back a few squares. Now I got the extra reroll. That helps, actually. Same exact, exact same roll as the opening half kickoff. A 2-1. Two, 2 for me and a 1 for him. And it gives me the, the extra reroll. So that will definitely come in handy. I'll have three rerolls that I can play around with up until turn 16. Yeah, he has block. I don't. No break, though. That's good. He gets to take down there with Mighty Blow. Ugh. Phew, just a stun. That's good. We'll take it. Now, all of a sudden, he's starting to break my armor a lot. And that's scary. That is very, very scary. <coughs> Very, very scary. Gets a take down there. He'll use the bolt down. Yep. And a KO. So he doesn't even have to pile on. Unless he just... Well, he doesn't. I was going to say, unless he wants to be greedy trying to get the cross. But that's okay, the KO there, because I'll have a chance for him to come back for the potential one-turn score, at least. On the KO row. Instead of the cross, right? Cross would have been a lot worse right there. Nice. Really stupid there. I like that. He needs to do it another time to catch up to my Crocs, because my Crocs has had two boneheads. And that's his first stupid. Are we going to see a foul from the dirty player here? I would imagine we do, but we'll see. And he's got two-player advantage on me right now. Might as well foul the Crocs. I was going to say, he was going to leave him open for me to get a hit on him. He chooses not to foul, though. We're going to take a chance here and try to pick off this Dodger, <coughs> the Dodge Mighty Blow piece here. See if we can pick him off. Come on, baby, break him. I'll follow because I'm going to pile on. Ah, can't break him, man. Mellow Yellow's gone weak on me all of a sudden. I want to move him into here, but if I do, four, five, one, two, three, four. So you can move him here. He can go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
to get him two dice here to push him off. Then he'd have three, four, five, six. I think I'm going to do it anyway and just take a chance. Take a chance. If he wants to put all his guys over there to get those hits, then so be it. I think he probably just activates the troll and doesn't try to actually hit with him. I wouldn't hit with him because he's not blocked. I'd hit with this guy, but to get the two dice, you either need to just activate the troll or you have to waste a guy in here to get the assist. So instead of wasting a guy to get the assist, just activate the troll. Oh, wow, he actually did the hit with the troll. That was gutsy. Without block, that was extremely gutsy right there. He rolls block die, turnover dice right there. He screws himself. I st start getting hits on a lot of his guys then. That was very, very gutsy right there. Very, very gutsy. God, oh, man, he got so lucky he didn't turn over there. If he turns over right there, this whole game changes. Now he gets Mighty Blow on Armor 8. No break, though. That's good. But now he's going to get Mighty Blow piling on here. Yep. <clears throat> With the tackle. Does he pile on? He does. Wow. Pretty safe pile on. It's going to be hard for me to be able to do anything with that. Not that I would anyway, because I don't really want to lose my skinks, so it's pretty safe piling on there. Nothing wrong with that. But I put him in there for a reason, to, to uh, tease him and goad him into trying to do some crazy stuff to get to him. And he did. He did the crazy hit with the, with the troll, and he didn't get uh, burned on it. So I almost got him to it. Come on, ref, catch him. Catch him this time. Don't let him keep getting away with that stuff. Oh, KO. Ah, and he didn't get caught. God dang it, ref, catch him. Really? Ref's killing me here, man. Ref is killing me. Mm -mm -mm. Really need that guy to get caught and go off. So he'll quit fouling. Break here would be nice. Nope. <clears throat> I need to be breaking him a lot more than I am. I'm not breaking him hardly at all. Not breaking him hardly at all. Well, that's nice. Maybe I should have just asked for it earlier. <laughs> that's a big, big one to get off, though. Definitely a big one to get off the pitch there. 
think we'll just stay right there. So start evening it up a little bit anyway. So I'm down to eight. Yeah, and I'm minus two big guys. He's at ten right now. Minus one big. His, Well, not his best big guy, but almost his best big guy. If he didn't have that guy, it would be. Yep, he's going to use the resources to get the piling on hit on the uh, big source again. Problem is he's got to use two more guys just to even get the two die hit on him. <clears throat> but he'll have the dirty player there to foul too if he needs it. That's what sucks. If that dirty player would have got caught last turn, I wouldn't have to worry about that. So now not only do I got to worry about the mighty blow hit, I got to worry about the pile on mighty blow after that, and then the potential dirty player foul after that. So three, four, five, six, seven. So that's enough to do the hit. Nice, no takedown. We'll take it. Oh, he re-rolls it. Wow, what a greed re-roll there. Can't say I wouldn't have done the same, though. I probably would have. Here comes the pylon. Or does he leave the guy standing? Yep, he leaves the guy standing for the the uh, dirty player foul. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So a 6 plus on the foul. Come on, ref, catch him this time, man. Catch him this time, ref. Interesting he goes that route. Breaks. Yes, he got caught. Thank you. That's all I wanted, and it was just a stun, so even better. We are okay with that. All right, so where's his tackle pieces? That's one. Want to make sure that he cannot get to me with those guys, right? Right. So I blitz here. So that's his move seven there. No. Where's oh there's his move seven there. Okay. So he's gonna stand up no matter what. And a break would have been so nice right there. He's move. So I go here, he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Just get up to me. That's fine. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> Keep those three guys as far away from those tackle pieces as I possibly can. <laughs> Do not allow him to get hits on him unless it's absolute necessity. <clears throat> so at least the ref finally caught him, so he's done fouling. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that, guys. Wife was talking to me. All right. <clears throat> I was going to say, you fool around and not protect him, I'll get to him with my move eight guy. Or even potentially break tackle with him. There you go. So you block the move eight up. Better not fuck around and leave that break tackle open to hit. <coughs> ah, he just gets yellow after yellow after yellow. He hasn't missed on hardly any of his blocks. Hardly any at all. Wow, you're going to foul with him, really? I mean, if you want to, go for it, but <laughs> a little gutsy play, wouldn't it? That would be a gutsy, gutsy play right there. Hmm, I could get a little crazy here. First thing, let's mark him up so he can't do nothing there. Well, he could dodge, but I doubt he does. Let's mark him up there. Let's bring him into here so I can get the two die there here in a little bit. I'm going to do the blitz here. Hopefully get the yellow. If I do, that's one. Break tackle for two, three, four, five. If I get into here, <coughs> if I get into there, he'll be able to move him in, him in. So three, four, five, six, seven. He'll definitely be able to get pieces in there to hit. And potentially even surf. So do I want to do that? I don't think I need to do that, right? I think we'll just stand him up. Let him do his thing. We'll blitz here and get a hit on his piling on piece. Break him. Yes. Cross him. KO's good enough. It's one less guy I got to deal with. One less guy I have to deal with. Okay. That tackle piece there. That tackle piece there. Oh, come on, Crocs. Really? That's the worst possible time to freaking bonehead. I should have put my blocker up there. I almost did, too. Should have put my freaking blocker up there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh man. Talk about nasty. Ugh, so disgusting. So disgusting. Wow. <coughs> Third time the Crocs is boneheaded and... All three times were at really bad, 
bad points in time. <clears throat> so proof positive why you never rely on big guys because they will always let you down. Always. This does put a little pressure on him here because he's going to have to use these two guys to get the hit here. And that's making a go for it as well. Or he's got to just concentrate on getting back here and guarding up. Because I've got these guys locked up. He's locked. Well, no, he's not locked up anymore. He was locked up. Thank you, Crocs. Nah. No reason to try the loner there. Save the four reroads for these last four turns. Oh, yeah, he is still locked up because of that. I forgot all about that. Um. Yeah, let's just stay marked onto him. That way the Crocs still has... Uh, he has two dice there now, though. But the Crocs will have two dice on him now. If he doesn't loan her again. Hey, look, he didn't get a yellow finally. Well, that's actually, that's five straight dice he didn't get a... Well, he just needed to both down our pal with him. But a yellow there would have took him down. So that actually slows him down a little bit. He can try the dodge here, but my tackle negates his dodge skills, so... Yeah, that's kind of what I've expected. I expect him to do the go for it here and try to... Take him down. <clears throat> Absolutely what I would expect. Yep. Doesn't fail to go for it, but he doesn't get me down either, so that's big. He's thinking about re-rolling it, but he doesn't. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. That's interesting. Failed the first dodge. With the way he's been failing dodges this game, I'm surprised he tried doing that dodge right there, to be honest. Now I bet he dodges out here and comes in and well, that doesn't really help him to mark him up. Oh, he makes the dodge there, but that's okay. That allows me to get guard in there if I want it. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> that will allow me to get guard right here. I'll bring this guy over to here. Because then I can blitz here. For one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or I go in there, yeah, we'll do that. Um, that's a one die, right? Yep. So we'll go ahead and bring him back up here. Ah, oh, shoot. I screwed that up. I want him here. Yep, that's what I want. Ah, oh, come on. Really? So we'll do that. We'll... F fuck, I can't follow, can I? Because then I only have one die there. Yeah, we'll follow. I need to keep him marked. Let's do the blitz here, because I don't want him getting that free hit on my uh, edge piece. Oh, I really needed really needed a yellow there. Would have been nice to get that mighty blow hit on his dodged mighty blow piece. Would have been nice. I don't like lump marking myself up like this, but I don't have a whole lot of choice right now. Uh, that would free him. No, he's not free. He's got him marked on him. Ah. Well, I got the rerolls to use, so might as well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now he's going to get a freaking hit on my goddamn edge piece. All I need is a three. Ah, that's frustrating. A 1-2 two two or a 2-2? Two two. Uh, 
All I need is a freaking three. And then I can get the hit on him, push him here, follow in. They're all marked. Ah, frustrating. So frustrating. Four, five, six. That's a one die there. I know what he should do. I don't know if he's thinking about doing it or not. Well, not, I, I hesitate to say what he should do, but what he could do. <clears throat> yep. Now he's got the blitz here if he wants to get a hit on my piece, my edge piece. Oh, man, that sucks. That's a piece I need for my one turn. Touchdown. Going to have to hope for some good KO rows or I'm going to have a hard time getting a one turn touchdown here. <clears throat> Won't be that hard. All I need is a one die push. I would not do the go for it there. I know why he wants to to get the tackle on this guy, but I absolutely would not do that go for it. You double one that, you're fucked. Just move here, get your extra assist, and you can push him off. Wow. And Nuffle doesn't hurt him. He rolls a six. In fact, about as far away from double one in as he could get. Gets greedy with the greedy with the go for it to try to put the tackle on this piece when he really didn't need to. <coughs> and he got away with it. All he needed to do was just get to one of these two squares and mark mark up to get that assist that he needed. <coughs> he has not blitzed yet, so he can surf here, which is probably what he's gonna do. He's doing it wrong though if he wants to surf. He moves him into here, does the hit here and pushes, and then comes around and blitzes and blitzes him off. Instead, he just does a straight-up pylon hit. Don't break. Nice. He'll pile on. He shouldn't, but I bet he does. Nope. Smart play, smart play. Very smart play right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I can't get to him there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. This could be interesting. Nice. No take down there. I like that. All right, Crocs, can you move this time? Thank you. Now, here's the greedy part, or the gutsy part. If I do it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bam, bam. And then I mark him with diving tackle. That would keep him from being able to dodge out and then potentially surf me. I'm going to do this one die first. Nice. Nice. Neither one of these guys are mighty blow. So we'll just do this. Then we'll run him down to safety. Get him out of harm's way. Now let's see if I can make a dodge this time. Yay! Now I at least got my dodge skill for these. 
Nice. Made all of them. Now I'll double one to go for it. <laughs> uh, uh, the last one. Even better. Whew. At least I didn't double it. <laughs> At least I didn't double one it. See if I can make him pay for trying to stall out here. I've got him in a potentially uh, precarious point here. <clears throat> Gets the easy hit on the, the Crocs to push him off, and then he can move these two guys around. Oh, it just gets the pushes, though. So what he does is he does the hit on him, gets a yellow and takes him down. Then he can blitz through here, <coughs> potentially. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he could still blitz through that way. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> He's in a bad, potentially bad spot. Yes, no yellow. He's got to use the reroll. Oh, wow, he didn't. Wow. So he blitzes here now. Uh-uh-uh. Wow, wow, wow. That's... Oh, he doesn't blitz there. What is he doing? I don't get this. What's up, sup nugs? How you doing, sir? Oh, he's gonna blitz there. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. <coughs> no pal. Beautiful. We'll use dodge. He'll push him here. <coughs> Problem is, what's he gonna do here now? Oh wow, he didn't. That's interesting. Because that allows me a break ta potential break tackle chance. What in the world is he doing? Oh, he's going to move the guard in here and do a one die to score and surf me. That's what he's going to do. Okay. Not terrible. He's going to have the reroll with the one die. I need a red or uh, uh, any red, a skull or uh, both down. <coughs> <laughs> I need red right here. Give him that one dice skull I got earlier. Nope. And it's a surf on my armor eight. That sucks. Wow, is he really going to think about not scoring right here? I mean, that's a pretty simple break tackle for me. Does have tackle applied to my dodge, though. Wow, he didn't score. Holy shit. How do you leave me that chance? Wow. That's a three-plus break tackle for me. Wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe he just did that. Holy cow. Three plus break tackle and then two dice. Oh. Um, he's going to score anyway, so I don't want to mark people up right now. I think I just want to go ahead and do the straight up hit. He does have tackle on me, though, so my dodge is ineffective here. <coughs> Make the break tackle, though. And there's the surf. Ball's out. Come on, crowd, help me out here. Oh, uh, you did not help me out there, crowd. What the hell? Well, that's all right. We will do this. 
mark this ball up as best we can here. Hope we can make a dodge. We do have a reroll to use if we need it. Nice. get him in scoring position potentially if things would to go good on my turn 16 <coughs> sup nugs <laughs> wow 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 what a big change of events one miscalculation was all it cost or was all it took now, I still would have had a chance on turn 16 for a one turn, right? And I still had rerolls. I would have needed to get these guys back, a couple, at least one or two of them. But all I needed to do is push him one time and just get the ball in his hands, and then he most likely scores on a one turner. I won a game earlier this season on a one turn, turn 16 score with him. That was a pretty, pretty simple, easy task. So the good thing is I've got sidestep on both these guys, so he has to hit the Crocs in order to push that ball out. <clears throat> sidesteppers he can't do because I can just sidestep out and leave the other two guys marked. Yep, yeah, that's what he has to do. He does get the yellow, so he can try to push it out. Hopefully it bounces into one of my skink's hands or comes up on this side over here. Eh, not terrible. <coughs> Makes the dodge. Makes the pick. Wow. Wow. Nuffle saved. He had a reroll, so not terrible, but Nuffle saved him there. Nuffle saved him on that one. <coughs> oh, I didn't even see my uh, KO rolls. All but one. Okay, that's perfect. So he got the ball bounce pretty good, about as good as he could hope, and then he made the dodge, he made the pickup in a tackle zone, made another dodge out of diving tackle as well. And that's why I wanted to put the diving tackle there in the middle like that, but it didn't even matter. So he rolls... He rolls... A four to dodge on the first one where I had tackle applied. No, I didn't have tackle applied. Uh, rolls a 6 to pick up with a 4+. plus. Rolls a 5 to dodge with diving tackle applied. <laughs> wow. I did need the babe there. No, that was his guy. I did need the babe there. So the babe saved me on one. God damn. I cannot freaking type all of a sudden. Should and there we go. Too hard as long as I can pick up a ball. <coughs> <coughs> There's really not a whole lot he can do here to line up to to potentially stop me from from one turning. I 
I need pushes. I shouldn't even have to do this one turn. There's He should not have scored there. So terrible. What's up, Kassim? Should not have scored there. This game should be over. In my my benefit. All right, so what I am going to need to do is do a few pushes here, right? So if I get him there, I need to push here, push here. Let me think here. Push here, push here. Then blitz in. Oh man, I'd have to push him three times to get it there. Hmm. Or, if I if I take the troll down from here, trolls down, then I have my strength six, his strength six here, so trolls down, then my strength six takes him down, or actually strength six is here, takes him down and pushes him there, then I can blitz in, hit him, have this guy here, so I'd have to have my strength six there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, but my guard's not in the right spot. So we have a guard here. We have guard here and here. And then we can hit him. We need to have him here. Oh, I got a third guard. That's right. I got three guard. So he goes there. This skink goes in here. So I I take him down. I take the troll down. Actually, no. I'm going to do this different. I'm running out of time, though. Um, first of all, let's get a couple of guys back here for the ball. And let's get him here if I need him. Okay, so I blitz in. I hit him. So I blitz here, push him here. Blitz, push. So blitz, push him here. And then I got hits to do bam, push him here. Well, I'm out of time now, so we just got to hope this works. We just got to hope this works. Needed more time to think about what I wanted to do there. Oh, wow.
Uh uh uh. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Absolutely disgusting. So is there a way No way I can blitz a guy here. But that doesn't help me with pushing. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable, man. Nuffle absolutely just gave him this draw. This should have been my win. This is the shit that's frustrating as hell, right? He played a great game all the way up till turn 15, and he made a huge mistake, and then Nuffle just pays him off for it. I do something like that, and I get completely demolished by it. I never get paid off for a bad mistake like that. Absolutely disgusting. <coughs> and I don't think there's any way at all... <coughs> any way at all that I can get any kind of anything here. Unless, actually, actually there is a potential possibly. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> <coughs> Means I'd have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'd have to hit him. Which means I'd have to have. No, I could hit him here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit him here. Um, but there's no way I can. Yeah, because if I have, if I hit him here, and I have guys here, here, and here, then I push him into him, and then push him up, and then he can make dodges through. <coughs> Ah, uh, nope, that won't work either. Um, I push here, I push him in. Then I'd have to have... There's no way I can make it through because these guys are in my way. Or one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I had to make a dodge with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit him. Because <coughs> then I could free that open up. Yeah, that's what I have to do. So, with that being said, if I hit him, I need guys here, here, and here. And here, and here. Push. No, here. Oh, there's no way I can push him open, is there? So I hit here. Push a guy in. Yeah, there's just no way I can do this here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, there's no way I can get him pushed back up to here is the problem. Hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing I can do about it. Un unbelievable, man. Absolutely no way I should have lost this game with the way he screwed up his turn 15. Everything just went as perfect as it could possibly go for him. Well, at least I missed next game, Tim. Well, he'll use his APO. Yeah, he gets him back. And that was Mellow Yellow.
I won the pickup anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, Mellow Yellow gets the cross, though, so let's make sure and get that marked up. So disgusting, man. I should have won that game. Should have won that game. He should not have gotten the draw there. He should feel absolutely blessed that he got a draw right there. <laughs> and like I said, he played great through the whole game. He actually played really well. He positioned well. He did everything right except for turn 15. And he made a huge, just a huge mistake. And I was able to make him pay for it immediately by getting the ball out. But then everything after that just went terribly wrong for me and perfectly right for him. And he just got paid off for his bad mistake. It's an absolute shame. I couldn't have played it much better than what I did at the end, I don't think. And then to get the perfect D on top of it was just, that's just like insult to injury, right? Pouring salt in the wound. <laughs> All right, so he's at 81, and that's right. All right. <clears throat> so another draw when I should have had a win. Uh, I was thinking about it, Supnugs, but I still haven't started a run yet, so I still may. I just haven't done it yet. I've got too many league games going on right now is the problem. It makes it really hard to get enough time to play enough matches that I need to play. Just waiting on him to confirm at this point. Oh, that is so frustrating, man. So frustrating. I should be 2-2-1 two, two, and one right now. So absolutely frustrating. Mm-mm-mm. So they've already played. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. Yeah, so I'm most likely going to go further back. I'm going to have a chance to get demoted here if I don't win a couple of these last games. Mm. And I should have had the win there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's what's frustrating. It's one thing if I screw myself on it, right, and I do my do it to myself by being greedy or some goofy shit like that, but... Oh, man. That one's going to burn for a little while, guys. All right, so 272, 48, 70, 117, 81, 46, 24, 0, 91. Wait a minute. What did I? Oh, kickstart. I didn't get his last touchdown that he scored that game. And 11 and 0. Perfect. All right got my draw marked we're at 2040 so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop jolt and rebuy him wait a minute let's see who we play next week first <coughs> if we play somebody that's a hard hitter I may wait to make sure I have enough money to replace a source or Crocs if I lose them oh man oh man oh man three four five six two six I need Pidpad to lose. That would keep me ahead of him at least. Who's he play this week? He plays Preston Clawian. Okay. And then he plays Doty. Oop. The Lifting Dead plays Dode. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, who do I play next week? I play Dode next week. That's awesome. Who's the lifting dead? Is that an undead team? It is. 17-10. He's playing Dode this week. And they're dead even. Can he do any damage to Dode? Uh, yeah, he's got four mighty blows, so he could still do some damage to him. Dode's team's been beat up pretty bad so far this season. Oh, he's missing two guys for his next game. So 8, 9, 10, he's going to have 11. Yeah, his team's gotten beat up a little bit. A rookie blocker, a block black orc, a block black orc. He's niggled. These guys are both hurting. Two edge, four blitzers, though. That's, that's a couple of nice blitzers there. Um, So i got to play orcs next. Did he have a lot of Mighty Blow? 
he has, yeah, four. One, two, three, four. So he's got the potential to do a little bit of damage. And he's got three tackle. I think I'm going to go ahead and fire that skink and buy a new one. Yeah. Because the armor six is just going to be a liability. He's going to get taken off so easily. Hell, the armor seven will too, but... <laughs> oh, well. Let's just go ahead and replace him and get that going. Jolt the J O L T the sixth, I think it was. I swore I hit the switch button there. There we go. Jolt. Put him down here where he needs to go. <coughs> Alright, so for now that's good. We at least got the armor six guy off. But I do lose the, the sidestep, which kind of stinks. But oh well. Rather lose the sidestep than keep that armor six. So let's get this down here, do this, do this. All right, and he was retired. And then back up here. Sixth, there we go. He is not sidestep any longer. He can lose that injury. That can go back up to seven. That's gone, that's gone, and that goes back down to 60. All right. So I think we're at 2020. Yep, I think we are all good to go. Updated and caught up on our spreadsheet. Oh, man. What a bum game. What a bummer. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my people. Back to the beginning. Lo. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the brave may live.